Chopper's dad is changing out the fishing lures. That's his job. Hey friends, Jennifer here with Moreau Family Farm. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. So today we uh, we took a drive down to um, South Georgia. We were on the, the road for a while. We drove about almost like six and a half hours, but we did not want to drive all the way home because it was going to be a long drive and we've done that before. And we ended up being on the road for 18, yeah, 18 hours. And it was just a really, really long day. And this morning when we left, we just made sure that we fed the animals a ton of food, made sure that they were okay for the evening. And we're just gonna leave here early in the morning um, and make sure that we get home like around 10, somewhere between 10 to 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So my realtor that we're working with actually has a rental and she is, so amazing i'm like i'm super super floored right now of what she hooked us up with and i just want to show you guys what we have for the night so let me just turn you guys around and show you what we got so this is the the foyer area and we just walked in right here oh it echoes, echoes very loud in here but look at these doors these are some big heavy beautiful doors we got the washer and dryer here with, oops, I don't know if you can see, but with a little bathroom off to the side here. Oh, there's a shower in there as well. Um, and then, I mean, look at this. It is so pretty. The beadboard in here is just really, really beautiful. Look at this. This is just, so my style it is absolutely absolutely gorgeous I don't know what this door goes to a oh, linen room so just I mean decorated amazing the decorations in here are just so beautiful um, we'll get to that room straight back there in a minute, but I just wanted to show you this area. Hopefully it is bright enough in here. Let me see if I can find a light to turn this on. Well, I can't find the light switch. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. So, but you can see it. I mean, really beautiful, beautifully decorated. And then we've got the nice little breakfast bar over here. The colors on these cabinets are so pretty. This is like the homes that I used to sit in at the model homes. And uh, you see them? They're like a, a bluish, like a deep blue gray color. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. The floor is beautiful. It's like that beach sand looking floor. Um, and I, this is so cute. So they have this, you know, the grayish color here, but then these are like a, I don't want to say seafoam green, um, but it's kind of like a green, a mint, like kind of a lighter than a mint green. I don't know if you can see the offset from the white, but it is so stinking pretty. Um, we have, oh my gosh, I have not even been back here yet. You guys, this is so beautiful. Very, very impressed with everything I see. Oh my gosh, I feel like we've just been blessed. <laughs> We have, we have been blessed. I don't feel like it, but we just have been. Oh, I don't see a light. I see a light, but maybe just, well, anyways, you guys can see really neat little, these overhang lights right here above the beds. I mean, this is absolutely 
amazing. Then we got another bedroom over here. And you guys, you would think that this is the master, but this is not the master bedroom. Beautiful rug, beautiful windows. I mean, excellent. Excellently designed and set up. The sink, this is a great, great sink. And I'm gonna tell you why in just a minute, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's go over to the master bedroom. You guys take a look at this. I really feel like I am in a model home right now. You cannot even, look at this. So spacious in here. Absolutely gorgeous. This is probably a closet I'm gonna assume. Oh yeah, huge walk-in closet. Not that we would need a walk-in closet, but for, for resale value, if she ever wanted to sell this, this would be just a killing. And then your master bathroom. Trying to, give me a second on the lights here. Oh, there we go. Nah. <laughs> Anyways, look at the size of the shower. Push, push, not pull. But anyways, big shower. I don't know if you can tell how big it is from the, but look, we've got double shower heads. Just excellent. Let me show you what else makes this house amazing. Look at this. Oh my heavens. We got swing, beautiful lounging area, screened in patio, very, very lakeside. Got a picnic table over here. And let me show you what the family is doing right now. Oops. So you guys, now there are a lot of little gnats flying around, which kind of is not great, but other than the bugs, there is a fire pit. Hopefully the bugs are not as bad down here towards the water. Oh yeah, the bugs are not that bad right out here. But for some reason, everywhere else. Well, over there, when I, the way oh my, came in, yeah, no, going going through the porch, yeah, it's, it's crazy. So honestly, um, everything about this is absolutely breathtaking. The only downfall is the amount of Mayfly. mayflies. In, mayflies in September. Huh. Anyways, look at that beautiful, beautiful sunset. It is so pretty. The house is absolutely gorgeous. Have you ever, have you seen it yet? Oh, wait until you see the inside of this house. Oh my gosh. Three. Three. There's four beds, three bedrooms. 
beds. Yes, there's four beds. So right now we are in Eufaula, Alabama. It's just on the other side of like Georgetown, Georgia. Um, it's I think about maybe an hour northeast of Dothan, Alabama. And if you're ever looking for a nice quiet place out on the river, this is an Airbnb. Um, you can contact her name is Rennell. I will put her name down here so you guys can see it with her phone number. If you're interested, give her a call. And this is just really um, a nice little setup here. I don't know if maybe it's the time of the year with the, the mayflies, um, but there's definitely a lot of fish jumping. I see them jumping over here and um, I'm sure they'll be willing to you know, have someone come out here and spray and hopefully maybe take care of some of that bug issue. But other than that, I mean, this place is, it is really very, gorgeous. very nice. It's gorgeous, huh? Yeah, it's a really, really nice place. And honestly, being out here on the dock, I don't feel any bugs. Nothing is on me. Yeah, I like the oh, well, hey, yeah, let me like show you. I'm going to show you what we're these are what they are oh they're not mosquitoes right these aren't mosquitoes all right so these are mayflies yeah we're not being eaten we're not being you know picked up and brought away like i was saying guys Rennell, um i believe it's wilham i could be pronouncing it wrong wilham is um an excellent realtor this is her one of her rental properties and uh, I highly suggest this place. Good morning. It is, sorry guys, I'm trying to close the door here. It is the next morning and bugs are not as bad as they were yesterday so far. So that is a plus. Look at this beautiful, beautiful sunrise. The camera probably does not do it any justice. Look at this, you wanna see something funny? They're already out there fishing. It is about 6.30 in the morning, maybe a little bit later maybe, but not much. I don't even think that video or pictures can do it justice of how pretty it is to actually sit and watch the sunrise. Kids are having fun fishing already. It's probably close to seven o'clock at this point. And of course, dad is changing out the fishing lures. That's his job. He doesn't get to fish. We do only have two fishing pools though. It's not cold out here, but we have a blanket just in case, right? Now, as far as the bugs are concerned, they're not that bad, but there are some bugs. For anybody else. Yeah, they are out for sure. I mean, let's see. This is this is um, the food for the fish. I I have it on video. Ooh. Yes. You're on video. You're catching a big one, Zion? You're not going to catch anything if the the rope string is out of the water. 
Uh, it's too early. I haven't had coffee yet. don't mind the way I look guys it's early morning I have not done anything with myself uh, luckily up by the house area there is not nearly as many bugs as there was yesterday evening however there are bugs out by the dock or on the dock where last night there was not any bugs on the dock so it's a little bit of a reversal um, but it's really pretty really nice they have um, a swing right here as you saw yesterday there was a you know just a nice sitting area over <laughs> in the trees out there there's a hammock and I yeah. laid in it did you yeah when oh. you left I literally jumped in it oh what do you think of this place sign you want to give our viewers the the grand review of this Cute little Airbnb. Oh, uh, like over here in the center, the whole entire. The whole, your overall view of the whole place. It's great. It's great. It's um, better than great. Better than Anything great. Better than better than great. Oh, you really like it, huh? What's your favorite part? Um. Well, it might just be this area or the living room. The porch. You like the porch, or yeah. the, the, the patio, yeah. Or the dock where you can just. Finish. What What is it that makes this your your favorite part? Um. Well, I think Alexia like the bugs. The bugs. <laughs> and the no, bugs. she doesn't. But I like um, that bedroom over there. You like the proper, like decoration one. Yeah, the decoration because. Like that, that little light bulb that oh, yeah. hanging above your head. The, the decor in the kids' bedroom, two twin beds, and they are super soft. I changed out the sheets because I told our realtor that I would take the sheets off and wash them for her so she didn't have to worry about doing it. I feel like it's only fair for me to do some of the work for her because that's just kind of how I am. But, um, yeah, they have, like, these really, really nice down... Um, mattress toppers so their beds were really really nice and our bed was super super comfortable we didn't bring any coffee or anything like that with us so i'm gonna go do a dunkin donuts run get me some coffee get the kids some breakfast the hubby some breakfast i've got laundry going over here it smells fantastic The sun has risen. That's so bright. And he has risen indeed. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is fog right over. You see the fog over the water? And look at that sun. My goodness. Okay, and since I did forget to show you guys the front. Nothing super spectacular, but it's cute. The house next door, on the other hand, it's really pretty. But it's okay. When you're staying at a place like this, you don't need anything really big. And plus, it's beautifully decorated, so that's all that matters. And the beds are super comfy. And yeah, that's the most important thing, having a super comfy bed. But we're going to go and do our Dunkin' Donuts run right now so that's it guys i hope you all have a very blessed day and until next time we'll see you later bye bye